Hi guys, Tina Gale here and I am back with week four wrap up of load. So I made it all 29 days. I am still in shock and I am sorry this is up late, but I had a week to recoup because I'm telling you that last week was rough to get them done. But this is my stack of layouts. I've already put everything except for the last week in page protectors. So that is 29 layouts plus because there are several that are double page layouts. Um, and this final week I did do several double page layouts. So that was even more exciting. So we're going to take a look at each one of these. And I had hoped to get a video up of how I pulled my kits together and or not really kits, but my ideas and stuff to keep me on track. And I still hope to do it, but man, we'll see. Right now I'm just trying to get back in the groove of scrapbooking so I don't go back to not doing any scrapbooking whatsoever. So I want to keep it going. So this weekend I'm concentrating on getting a plan together to keep scrapbooking. All right, so this layout is one that I did and it is part of a double page layout but I did them separate um, this is a Christmas program at our church so this was last year and this is from Heidi Swap's new collection um, from this last Christmas it's just gorgeous it had all of the woodland animals and stuff so I I just fell in love with it so I just did I'll show you them together but so this paper is a full 12 by 12 sheet so I just cut it in a third and two thirds so that I have a little bit for both pages to tie them together. And you can see the outsides do not match. Um, I, I did a different paper over here. I did polka dots and I did the Merry Christmas over here. Um, but these are different parts of the program. So I'm gonna go ahead and show them to you together, I guess, even though I did them two different days. But I, I tried to keep in mind what I was doing on the other page to, to tie things together, like the little word labels and the little stars I repeated on both pages. Um, some of these little banners were die cuts. This one is from the layered embellishments. So it's one that was stitched and I did stitch on the sewing machine with these. I just put them at different heights. These were all the same length. I put them all at different heights and then just sewed across it and trimmed off. So I just stacked that on there as well and then some of these little stickers. This particular kit has um, printed vellum pieces, so I really wanted to use those, so I actually stitched that onto the layout with baited breath, but it worked. It was great. They had um, 1 through 25 on the little sticker sheet, and I just used it to create the date of December 21st, 2019, and then just stitched across those and another little word label. I stitched on this vellum piece too just to kind of keep it down and to just tie in that stitching everywhere. So this was the picture of when we pulled up and all of the little Christmas lights along the, the church and it was just gorgeous with all the lights. So I had snapped it and then one of my husband and I and my daughter. And then this page included the sanctuary. We always have... Um, a special song that is saying and then we all light candles um, and we just share the the light and just pass it on it's really a really sweet moment of the service so we did that and then this is if you follow Christian music this is Andy Christman from for him and he is our worship pastor and he is amazing and I just I love him and this is a puppet from our kids program and so they brought him into the show and they did a little skit and it was so hilarious and so part of what watson says to him is oh andy any time with you is not wasted and so i'm going to finish putting that out i just couldn't decide whether to do it in letter stickers type it out or what but i'm going to finish the rest of that title and then i have another little vellum piece here and a little sticker because I know this is going to be filled up with some more text and the journaling once I decide how I want to do that. So that was a really great page, both of those. That was the last two that I did on the 28th and the 29th and I was struggling to get them done. But I love these little characters. This one is another one from the popped dotted up stickers. 
and he's got a little bell and pom-pom and just super sweet so I included him because Watson's a little rabbit so I thought that was a perfect way to tie that in and then just put another little woodland character over here and this is kind of a nod to my husband because he loves bears so that was day 28 29 day 27 this is another one that's a double page but I did them separately so this is a special restaurant and the prompt was a special place or a special restaurant a fancy restaurant something like that so this is Ruth's Chris and I had went one year um, with our office staff up front all those girls get together and we go out to a really nice restaurant each Christmas that the company pays for so we had went one year to this I fell in love with it so now on my birthday I make them take me back and so I documented it this is the dessert they change out desserts seasonally and it was awesome so this is the My Mind's Eye Splendor Collection, and these are available in the scrap room. They're on discount right now, even. They're on sale, and I had bought like three or four of these, I think four, because I just, I love florals, and this is such a gorgeous collection and has a sheet of floral stickers in with the collection, so I used those layered up. And I had found the brads that coordinate with it at Tuesday morning, so I included those. So just awesome. This is the other page so you can see that it does coordinate. I just included a little bit of this paper over here and this paper so that it would tie together. But this is me with my birthday cake and it was so good I was trying to take my husband's and he's just oblivious to me. And then the kids were just cracking up so then they realized it. Um, this is a Pebbles birthday line. It's a brand new one that just came in one of the kits. So I sold the little birthday sticker and the pinwheel out of it to put on this. So, you know, a floral collection now became a birthday collection. So be sure to, you know, mix your embellishments and stuff up. You can do anything with them. So I love the way this page turned out. And then this is from... Um, Paper House Studios, it's a little cork embellishment, so I'd had it. Oh, and this Let's Eat, Let's Eat Cake is from this birthday collection from Pebbles. Have a little doily back here. It doesn't show up much, but it's it's just to kind of soften that background and make the, the pictures pop. So I think that was day 27, 26. Then for my Texas album, I got this finished. I'm trying to get it all on the page. This is a sketch from Scrapbook Generation, and the collection is from Photo Play Paper, I believe, and I believe it's called Getaway or something like that. Boarding Pass, maybe. It's called Boarding Pass from Photo Play Paper. Love the colors in this, and even though this is a trip, but it's about a restaurant that we found out about from locals and went and drove out of our way. We got lost. So that's why I have these stickers, destination found, road trip, because it was actually a road trip to get there because we took a wrong turn. Um, and I kind of included this sticker because it's the car going around the world. And we kind of felt like that because we had to make a big circle to get back where we were. I used um, some of these clear stickers here. That's a gold foil, so I don't know how well they'll show up. Those are from Paper House. No, they're from that collection, sorry. I had some from Paper House that I included on one layout. A little puffy sticker. And these puffy stickers came from a summer collection that's a really bright, vibrant, which I probably will not use because I'm, I'm more of a toned down person. But it was perfect. I decided since it was in Texas, we were eating at you know the Heart 8 barbecue. Um, the puffy sticker sheet had like six of these little cactuses on it, so I thought it was a perfect time to pop one in there. So, and then afterwards we went and took him to Cabela's. So that's one more layout done. I have now finished my Texas album, so I am so excited. Um, this is another one for the Texas album. This was a wonderful little bakery. It's in the same town we that we found the barbecue place. So it's just an, it's a... I don't know if it's an old district, 
but it, it's got that feeling of an old district and you just get out and you just walk up and down the streets. So there's shops and restaurants and bakeries and it, it's just amazing. So we ate so much and took so much home. Um, so this was a little bakery. This was the second bakery we walked into and I wish we'd found it first. Um, so they made everything from scratch and off to the side there was a big window and you could see them baking stuff and they made wedding cakes and they were actually working on a wedding cake when we were in there. But they have little sandwiches and just all kinds of goodies. I don't know if you can see that, but my goodness, it was good. So we got several that we ate there and then we took a big old box of a sample of stuff home. So this is another sketch from Scrapbook Generation and you can see it is just a block of photos using three by four cards and then framing it with these little quarter inch strips of paper. So you can absolutely do scraps and your three by fours. This is a great stash busting layout. Uh oh, lost my heart. That needs some extra adhesive. And then this is the last one from the Texas travel album. So this was our road trip coming home, our multiple stops. Um, we made an Ikea stop first thing, and then we went to um, the can container store. We always have to stop and eat in and out before we head home. And then on our way out across from the hotel we'd stayed at was Gander Mountain and Tuesday morning. And if you follow me, you know, I find every Tuesday morning when we're on a trip and we hit them all. So this was kind of the last little bit before we hit the hotel that night and then got up and drove the rest of the way home. So I just included a lot of different things. This paper actually is all from paper pads from Michael's. And then I took scraps that I had on the table from the other layouts that I'd done and just made a bunch of different banners. And then I also included banner stickers. This is a chipboard banner. This is a canvas banner from a collection. Um, that one's another chipboard. So I just included all different kinds of banners just to fill that up, even some little word labels and cut the banner at the end. Did some of these arrows here to create the look of a banner and then added the camera and this little circle and wood veneer stars to kind of break up the shapes. This side, this is a die cut. So this is working as my title, Big Adventure. And I included some geotags along with a heart that's maps, more of those wood veneer stars and a little hand pointing and more little word labels just emphasizing more of the story what a trip because ikea is always what a trip we always come out with usually two carts and as much as i can fit in my car vacation time eat well travel often so that was the last layout and my texas trip is scrapped so it's going in the albums i do want to go back and add um, a little bit of journaling just add the towns and stuff but i need to find my paperwork so that is the final week four. So let's see, two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I actually did ten pages since they were double pages. That final week. So I said I needed a week off. So I hope you enjoyed my journey through Layout a Day. I absolutely loved it. I actually went and signed up for the Scrap Happy membership so I can just be included on all of the loads from now on. The one coming up in October, I believe, is the exclusive one. So you do have to be a Scrap Happy member to participate in it. And then um, there's a, another one that I think they do just for a week coming up. So I will have the link down below for Scrap Happy and the membership and the load so that you can follow those if you want to jump in on the next one. Um, you can buy the, the loads other than the October one. You can buy just to do the, the single loads if you want to. So I will have the links down below. If you do sign up, I would love for you to drop my name and let um, Alice know that you watched me and that uh, I sent you over there. And I will be back with more process videos, hopefully back on track. So I hope you enjoyed that. Happy scrapping. I'll see you really soon. Bye-bye.